Hey, what's going on, everyone? Nick from Practically Tactical. Thank you for tuning in. This video, I'm with Matt from Shot Stop at Shot Stop. Right here. Uh, <laughs> Coming to check this out. As you guys know, that uh, listen to our show on podcast, watch videos. Uh, Shot Stop is one of our sponsors. And we really kind of want to do this video to introduce you guys not only to the company itself and, and why they're a sponsor, because we only really work with companies we believe in that have a good, uh, that go along with our message uh, that we have. And then kind of introduce you guys, because there's so many questions about. Does plastic stop bullets, Matt? That's that's kind of the, the big question on the internet right now. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I mean, so when we say plastic stops bullets, the, the main thing, and you may hear whether it's plastic plates or polyethylene plates, uh, PE plates, sometimes they call it an abbreviation for polyethylene. And it's basically layers and layers and layers of plastic. And the way that those things are, are so tight and so compressed together that it makes it extremely strong and able to stop a bullet. And we can actually show that, right? Absolutely. So we'll, we'll pull this out here. So this is an example of plastic stopping bullets. Exactly. So this is a, this is basically layers upon layers of uh, deuterium. In our case, our deuterium plastic, which we'll talk about yep. in a minute. Um, but it's you can see from the side. I know it's probably not real, real detailed, but this is literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of layers of just threads that just lay on top of each other. And by the crossing patterns that is, that's associated with how they're laid together is what gives this such a strong, uh, a strong ability to be able to stop a bullet. And then the, uh, the process of how that that's made is one of the things that makes us unique in the industry. Yeah. So you guys, uh, I know patents and all that 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 sciency stuff that you guys do. Uh, but not only is the way you guys make it, the materials that you make it, all that stuff is patented to you guys. So you're actually unique in this. You know, kind of new market of, of armor, for example, that really sets you guys out in several ways. Of, I mean, we have up to level four plates that stop missiles, armor piercing, like yeah. every uh, butt, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then all the way down to some softer stuff and 3A and, and, and everything in between. Um, I mean, at classes, we run your guys' armor uh, in, in our classes because, uh, you know, it's something that we trust. Sure. Um, sure. But uh, so you kind of talked about deridium. So we have polyethylene, but then it's made with deridium. Right. So, what is deridium? I mean, it sounds like well, one of the Avengers kind of things. Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. So, deridium uh, is the actual, what we call a portfolio of products and processes uh, that we have. It's patented. So, everything that we have associated with, with the products that we make is all patented. Okay. And then when I say the product, that means the actual raw material. So, what you see in here, not just what you see in this finished piece, but actually the stuff that puts this thing together. Uh, we source the raw materials, we make the threads, we put it all together, we turn it into a plate, we finish the plate with the polyurea, which mm -hmm. is another poly name, but the, the black stuff, basically like Linex, like okay. in the back of your truck. Yeah. So that's what we cover the stuff with to give it okay. again an extra little, uh, an extra little layer of protection. Um, so the combination from the very the raw material all the way up through the finished product itself, 100% uh, we have the rights and the patents to all that stuff from from when the stuff is created uh, all the way to when it's sold and you wear it on your body. Okay. And this is, I think, something that's an incredibly important part because, again, a lot of things in our industry and many industries is there's one company that typically makes stuff and the, for everybody else. Uh, that is, uh, just like we all know for people who probably watch our channel of, of AR, AR-15s and rifles, kind of a few companies making it for everybody. Same thing in the armor game as well. Um, and I'm not saying whether that's good or bad, sure. but it's just when you actually have a company that has developed itself and it's made itself, they're involved in every single process versus being reliant on someone else's process exactly. uh, and then put a sticker on it Right. versus this. Right. So, yeah, and like I said, going from the very raw material aspect of it all the way through. So when we put together a plate, we do everything, like I said, from the raw material stuff, but then as we go through in the, in the development process of actually creating our plates, and like you said, we've got stuff from you know, truly lightweight, under three oh, pounds, uh, yeah, this yeah. one guy here. Yeah. yeah, so this is our Deridium uh, 3 plus PA plate. This is our lightest, it's currently the lightest and thinnest plate uh, on the CPL, which is a compliant product list for the NIJ. Okay. Um, what, what is this weight? This weighs 2.7 .7 pounds. Yeah. Level three. And was, you could, he did this earlier. He literally spiked the thing. Like <laughs> you can he, throw it right down. I mean, it's plastic. Yeah. So it's, it's not a problem. I, I, I have a hard time wanting to throw this, to be honest, though. Go for it. 
I'd, I'd rather just take it and run with it. <laughs> um, a lot of times we throw it to somebody if they're walking to you know, a trade yeah. show or something like that. We throw it to them because they're expecting you know some heavy, heavy you know, yeah. uh, a ceramic plate or a steel plate or something like that. So we, I mean, it is. It's a, it's an indestructible. It actually bounces the plastic. Kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, literally, it is meant to withstand. We've driven over it with uh, M wraps, and, and we've yeah. knocked it with uh, with you know breaching tools, breaching equipment. Uh, we have just done all sorts of things, and then we shoot it to show people that it's not just the fact that it can stop all that and, and run over by a car, but actually, after you do all those things, then you put it up on the thing and say, "Okay, I'll shoot it." Yeah. So that thing you just beat the hell out of. Now put a gun to it and see what happens. And, and would your ceramic plate do that? Absolutely not. Yeah, your ceramic plate would crack, and you know something would happen. Yeah. Uh, so that's the that's one well, of the main, main difference. And and I think it's kind of like the technology that we're talking about. And this kind of leads us to, to two points of, of kind of going off here is your warranty with this stuff because yeah. what the, the the technology and Dridium and all the stuff that you guys use in this it'll actually allows you to number one warranty stuff longer, but also dropping your plates isn't an an issue, not that you probably want to do it anyways, sure. but um, you don't have to worry like triple with ceramics. If you drop them, you got you to recheck everything and inspect them and they age out over a couple years or whatever. So um, this technology allows you to actually offer a 15 year warranty on most of uh, right. most of your armor. Everything but our level four plate currently has a 15 year warranty, which is roughly three times what the average uh, industry is. So if I've got a ceramic plate or even some uh, other poly plates or steel plates, whatever that's out there, I may have a warranty that's somewhere between five, maybe a max of 10 years. Uh, so when you look at something, if I'm if I'm purchasing a, a ceramic plate that weighs six to eight pounds, maybe something like that, it might be a little bit less expensive than say it. So this is another version of the one that we just threw down. It's a little bit heavier. This is like 3.3 pounds. But this that sounds like everything else, right? Absolutely. Yeah. This, I mean, it stops pretty much everything except, uh, again, armor piercing. So this yeah. is still a full on 100% polyethylene derivative plate. Uh, but it's 3.3 pounds. So relative, this compared to a ceramic plate that's about six to eight pounds, half the you know to a third of the of the weight stops all the same stuff, but also has three times the warranty. So even if I pay 100 bucks cheaper for a ceramic plate, let's say, let's say this plate's you know 400 bucks or whatever, and I buy a 300 dollars ceramic plate, I got to buy that 300 dollars ceramic plate again in five years and again in five years. But this one I may pay 400 bucks or whatever it is to start with, but I don't have to buy that plate again for another 15 years. Yeah, that's huge. So then you're talking about whatever that adds up to be, $900 versus the $400 investment up front. Well, and, I, and again, this is me just thinking of like plastic and how it stands up to environmental stuff. A lot of people don't take in, whether we're talking tactics or whatever, environment uh, plays a big role in what we do. So specifically when we're talking about different types of armor, the environment that it's in, whether it's water, sweat, heat, sun, whatever, I'm just, plastic seems to last through all that stuff. We can't literally get rid of it on our planet. Okay. So right. uh, I'm assuming, it, and that's probably part of the warranty too, is it's just, it just lasts. It just lasts. And in both of these cases, the two that are, the ones that are 100% polyethylene or 100% uh, the plastic iridium material that we're talking about, they actually float. So if I was to put this in a, <laughs> in a jug of water or in a tub of water, it would literally float. So for any of those folks that are maritime type scenarios, uh, and or if you want to drive your boat with armor on, or if you, you just do want to you. drive your boat, that's right. Uh, this will actually, this one is actually what we call buoyancy positive. It's not a life vest by any means, but it actually will float more. You know, there's more to it that will float than sink. Whereas the the, the PA plate that we just threw on the floor there, it's a little bit thinner, has a little bit less of that material. It's, it's neutral, buoyancy neutral. Okay. Uh, so, so by the way, I guess I need to grab this real quick. Here, just, right. just to make sure, like nobody knows, like it's destroyed or something. Right. Um, I still want to just set it down nicely though. Um, but yes, and that's a huge thing too, whenever you talk about the weight, you know, not just... Well, yeah, we haven't even talked about the weight yeah. yet. This is like running a plate all day long, whether you're in training something, whether you're a civilian who's out doing whatever they're doing for fun or for, for training purposes, or I'm a law enforcement officer doing my job, whether I have this and I'm sitting in a patrol car on duty, whether I'm chasing somebody down in a, in a situation with a canine, whatever it might be, SWAT, um, running something, again, we talked about before, ceramic versus a, versus a plastic plate that is uh, half to a third of the, of the weight, you're running for hours, potentially, if you're in a particular situation, and so you've got half the weight 
that, yeah. you're, that you're running. And so you talk about your shoulders, your lower back, your knees. I mean, all kinds of joints that have all kinds of you know, oh, if you, problems. If you have to wear this stuff every day, it's, right. Right. weight is a huge. And, and again, that's kind of what the, your guys' technology and stuff with this is what makes it incredibly light. Right. Um, and so we go back to the deridium aspect. So yeah. again, one of the things that makes deridium unique and special in the industry is that fact that the way that we put it together is basically different than anybody else that's out there and they put it together. And so we're patented. able to patent the process. The, the, the process is patented. Correct. The whole process is patented. So not only raw material, which we mentioned before, but the actual process of putting it together. And basically what it allows us to do in, in short terms without giving everything away, basically by the way that we layer it is different than the way that the other folks layer it. So whenever we put something together, we can use less layers. And it seems pretty simple. If you can use less layers to stop the same amount of power uh, and a bullet or a, a round that's coming at it, it weighs less, it involves less material, so it's cheaper, uh, and it's thinner. So all those things come into play on that as part of the discussion. Yeah, and the, it's it's really cool. And I'm, I can't say all the cool stuff, but it's awesome to also work with a company that, number one, literally, this is off screen, the Focus 2019 Save Lives is right up on the board over here. Um, and that's really important to us, um, you know, we come up training uh, to, you know, civilians, law enforcement, whatever, whoever, um, but a company that has the mission that we do. Um, and that's incredibly important to us. That's why we love working with you guys. You guys do, um, you know, a ton of stuff. You help on Alliance Police Training we're at. Um, if you guys want to come take a class with us at, at Alliance, man, we got, you actually get to try out all your guys' plates yeah, at, right. at Alliance Police Training. Uh, uh, Joe has all the models there and you can try them out and play with them. And what's great is when you compare, there's got you know guys that come in that have ceramic plates and they've been wearing ceramic plates forever long, or that's what they've got, or they've never worn a set before, and they they carry somebody's that was ceramic, and then they put on stuff that's ours. It's literally night and day, and that's the the thing. You know, we can do it here, and we can you know, yeah. but we can be pretending, right? We yeah. Can be saying, oh, look how light obviously, this. I'm look so light strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're jacked. But it's totally true that once you have this stuff in your plates, and and I think. Uh, this quote that happens to be right here on the thing, it says, after my first four-week deployment running your plates, I can confidently say you guys make hands down the best plates on the market. This was a, a maritime guy, Navy uh, DOD contractor, who was literally running our plates, and he also had a comment that said, uh, after you know the first several hours of wearing your stuff, I hardly know it's even there. And how many people that have worn ceramic plates could say that. Yeah, <laughs> so Jesse's that's, back there shaking his head. Yeah, like, yep. right. right. <laughs> um, but I mean, the really cool thing is too is you guys are not stopping with this, and there's way more guys than, than what we have here. Hopefully, we'll do a, a video with Joe Wired Alliance Police Training on kind of selecting body armor, and you'll be able to see kind of more of their stuff here. But you guys have way more than what we're talking about. But you're also working on some very cool stuff. Very cool. Um, and so it's awesome also over the company that says, hey, how can we keep improving? How can we keep be getting better? Yeah. We're not getting better every day. We're not improving. So. And that's where, you know, one of the questions, uh, I think as we talked earlier a little bit, is is the defini definition of NIJ and yes, the rules we associated with some of those things. Part of that is it does come into play as a lot of, as a small company, we're able to iterate and to do things differently and to improve over time and that kind of stuff. The way that the NIJ system works basically is they set certain parameters around uh, in order to be considered uh, protection for this particular level, you have to stop these particular rounds a certain number of times and things like that. Um, and so the submission process, you have to go through certain uh, compliant labs that the NIJ is, is and it's expensive. with. It's very expensive. It's a timely process. It's a whole deal. And in our world, because we're constantly innovating and making things better, we do all kinds of testing with the same labs that are out there all the time. Uh, and we're going through the process to get all of our plates in IJ, and that's something that everybody needs to do, and it's a good trust uh, building per perspective because they are, uh, it's a voluntary rule, so I guess that's one piece to say too, is that NIJ is not a, a requirement. In order to sell armored plates, you, you don't have to have the NIJ stamp, just to make that clear. Yeah. On the flip side, it's voluntary, which means if I wanna be considered at the top level and actually making the stuff that's that's truly going to stop what we say it's going to stop, we should be, you know, we should follow that compliance. So everything that we test, we test to that compliance. But the, the challenge, like I said, in the in the uh, time frame of it and the cost perspective of it is we're submitting things that say this version of what we just made is going to be an IJ compliant. But in the six months or eight months or whatever, and the you know tens of maybe even hundred thousand dollars of investment in, in doing that process, we actually 
made a new model. changing and, and have a new version of that or a better version of that, a lighter version of that or whatever. And so it's a it's a fine balance between yeah. what's going. And then you also throw into the fact that NIJ is renewing their standards. It was supposed to happen at the end of last year. Then it was supposed to happen earlier this year. And now it's supposed to happen by the end of the year, 2019. Uh, so hopefully that happens. But then we'll have to go through that whole process all over again. Yeah. So everybody in the industry is going to have to be certified uh, or compliant for the new NIJ standards once that comes out. More money, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and that's one, kind of one big thing here too, guys, on this is um, there's a lot of companies also that say, well, it meets the NIJ standard. That's not NIJ standard certified. If you're going to be spending this type of money on gear, and especially talking about training and getting lighter weight plates, number one, I, you know, buy good armor. Um, Obviously, the guys at Shot Stop are awesome, one of our sponsors. You guys actually have a 15% discount code right in the bottom here. There's a link. Everything's there uh, to help you guys uh, get good gear to hopefully come take training or if it's your job to get lighter, lighter plates, whatever. But um, if, you, if you don't buy Shot Stop, make sure you get certified armor because there are a ton of horror stories out there. Um, and there's actually recalls often in the armor industry. We kind of talked about earlier of one company one putting stickers on, every, on everybody's yeah. names and stuff. Um, you know, and, and for those that rely on this stuff day in and day out to save their life, man, buy good armor. Right. Like it's it's only your life. I mean, yeah, and that's what we talk about too. I mean, our our like you said, I mean, our focus is to save lives, and as a company, that's what we were we were built around around. And if you go to our website uh, in our blog, I can maybe we can add the link into yeah. the oh, yeah. notes as well. We have uh, the story of our founder Val Iliev. Uh, so Val's from Bulgaria. And he's got an amazing story, basically, of, of escaping from communism. Uh, his life happened to be saved in a particular moment whenever he was basically confronted with uh, a soldier that could have stopped him and, and potentially had him killed because of his escape process. But for whatever reason, I get chill bumps just talking about the story, but for whatever reason gave him the, the pass to get out of the country, to go uh, on to, the, to wherever he was headed at the time. And... Val goes back to that moment as kind of like this is for some reason I was I was saved uh, through that process and mm -hmm. so he wants to then basically pass that on so it really does go to the core of who we are so we don't mess around when we are putting plates out there I know you guys have even talked a little bit uh, with some of the conversations today our goal is to be honest transparent we want to educate which is what I love yeah. about what you guys do and so when you go to our site a lot of our stuff is not about hey buy our stuff buy our stuff, buy our stuff, here's this discount code, all this kind of stuff. We really do focus on educating. We want, we want people to understand what they're buying, why they're buying it, what's different about ours, what's unique about something else. And we, we ultimately want you to make the right decision for you. It may not be shot stop products and, and that's okay, but we, we do believe ours is the best, obviously, because that's yeah. what we do. But in some cases, price may be too high, it may not fit right exactly with your needs at the time or whatever. So we really do want to make sure that that the people that are buying whatever they're buying are as educated yes. as possible and ultimately are doing the right thing for their particular situation. No, that's it. So I invite you guys to come out uh, to Alliance Police Training. You guys take a class there. We got Forge Tactical, Sentinel Concepts. We got a bunch of instructors that do shoe house classes out there, our listener classes. If gear is stopping you from taking a class, we got it out there. You guys can actually you try out all the shot stop right? plates. Uh, we got carriers out there. You guys will be able to be, you know, try all your different plates out there. And maybe that'll help you make a good decision and, of course, getting training. So, uh, Matt, thanks for having us out here today. Yeah. Showing us some really cool stuff. So glad to have you. Um, the, the future is full of excitement for you guys. For so sure. really cool so. stuff. Uh, but there it is, guys. Again, check the links down below. Discount code for you guys to take advantage of. And hopefully we'll see you out here in a class at Alliance here soon in a shoe house class with Shot Stop Armor on. So. That's right. <laughs> but uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, be sure to check the description box below. Thanks again to Shot Stop. We appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.